Murder suspect Susan Monica's 20-acre property has been the center of focus for deputies for nearly three weeks now. Tonight, they say the search for bodies on the property is over. NBC 5's Roma Villavicencio joins us live in studio with details. Roma. Sherry, the Jackson County District Attorney, says she's confident the search at Monica's property was thorough. Residents say they just can't believe this happened in their town. Susan Monica's Rogue River property has been a murder crime scene for nearly three weeks and the talk of the town. It makes me feel relieved that, you know, it's pretty much over, but, um, you know, it's kind of creepy. It makes, you know, you're like, what's going on in the community? After an extensive search, Jackson County Sheriff's deputies say no other bodies have been found on Monica's 20-acre property. There were buildings to search her residents to search, um, outbuildings and all other things, and so that's what took the time. Police say Monica killed and dismembered Robert Haney's body in September 2013. Monica was initially charged with identity theft for allegedly using Haney's Oregon Trail card. But while investigating that crime, deputies say they found Haney's body and another body of a person they say she killed in August of 2012. That body has not yet been officially identified. It's a process that will continue. Um, that may take some time because it will have to be done through their DNA or dental records. Just one part of the investigation that Jackson County District Attorney Beth Heckert says is far from over. Rogue River resident Louis Gross says he feels like his neighborhood is safe once again. I feel safe now that she's in jail, that you know, things have been taken care of. Monica also had pigs on her property that she wanted to donate to food pantries. Heckert says they were euthanized, saying it was the best decision. Live in the studio, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News. Back to you, Sherry. All right.